So Chris and I are heading up to the lake. If you guys watched the video that I did uh, four weeks ago, I guess now, about uh, fish in the high country, we decided to make a run for it and try it again. But the weather wasn't really cooperating. It's supposed to be sunny skies, but as you can see, it is very overcast and we got a little snow. So, go, go up around that tree and get the peak. Well, yeah, you can really. I mean, so we've got some snowfall, but they're saying around nine o'clock this should all burn off and it should be sunny skies. And we'll see. But uh, we're gonna go back up to that lake and see if we can't get into those big cutthroat. Just can't stand it, can't stay away. So, all right. Sun is cracked through for a split second. It's about to get gobbled up by this cloud, but the clouds are moving pretty good. I wonder if this storm doesn't blow over like it uh, the weather predicted. There is uh, probably one of the hardest jobs in the world is being a meteorologist in Colorado is uh, it never seems to cooperate, but maybe we get lucky. So this is our dilemma. This this is not burned off like we thought it would. It, the forecast was saying it was going to be completely sunny skies by nine o'clock, and uh, we got this cloud cover, and it is just hanging right there. So got a little bit of blue sky here. The wind's still cooking pretty good. We're still hopeful that this blows over, but I don't think it's gonna blow over within the next hour. So our dilemma is, you know, how far do we go up? Do we even try it with this cloud cover? Maybe the bad weather makes for better fishing, I don't know. But uh, we're just kind of sitting here discussing it right now. 
seeing what our uh, course of action is going to be if we're just going to fish this lower lake for you know tiny brook trout or are we going to uh, make a run for the upper lake i'm sure we'll make a run for the upper lake who's who, who am i kidding Well, we're starting our second big push up to the main lake. I am not super confident. The weather is deteriorating with every step. So, I don't know how it is. Chris and I, we always get into these kind of jackpots when we're fishing. So, we'll see though. I asked Chris if uh, he wanted to just fish this lower lake and he said he didn't come all this way to catch brook trout. He wants to go after some cutthroat, so. The search continues. All right, here's our straight up and down. Got 200 meters to go. And the weather's starting to improve a little bit. Now that's a view. That is a view right there. All right. Coming up on the little pond see if we see if we uh, see if we can see any trout trolling like I did last time so we made it it's overcast is not burning off like we had hoped but we're here so we're gonna fish but looks pretty windy out there, so we're gonna we got a nice wind break with these trees. We're gonna set up our fly rods here, and then head down and uh, see if we can if we can't get in any fish. All right, well we're starting off with streamers because it is just as you can see, it's this cloud will not move off of this um, this mountain top. So out to the east, it's blue skies and we're like, uh, what's the name of that comic, that old like 1940s comic, Little Abner where the cloud follows him around. That's us. We got, we're two little Abners with the cloud, the rain cloud just hovering over us everywhere we go. We are sure hoping this is the beginning of this burning off. So far, nothing with the streamers. Might have to move to coronamids. We've only seen one fish since we've been here in this lake. We saw one trolling in that pond, but there's so much chop on the water. And you can see Chris, he's undoing his, his eyelets are all freezing up. It's not perfect conditions by any stretch, but we're gonna power through it and we'll make a decision how we're gonna go here in the next hour or so. If it stays like this, we'll probably just head back. Yeah, so this, uh, this wind's pretty unforgiving. So we're gonna 
go to the tree line up here and we're gonna take shelter in the tree line because uh, if this does burn off and it does warm up we're gonna be so smoked if we stay out here trying to fight this this you know this wind and this overcast stuff so I'm gonna go up there hang out in that tree line and uh, just kind of watch the weather see what it does and uh, so much for sunny days it's I mean it's sunny out there but it's this cloud is just hanging right over top of us so it's supposed to be clear all night and everything so we're gonna probably give it another hour and just see if uh, if we can catch a break. We're heading to the main pond and there's this little puddle right here and there's two cutthroat that are trapped in it and you can obviously see you can't get out of here and it's it's a foot deep they won't survive the winter so our plan is and they're slurping the surface our plan they're not very big but our plan is to try to hook one and once we get them hooked i'm just gonna run them over to the lake and release them in the lake yeah we got another surface hit up there yeah there's like three of them in here so i'm going to set up my dry fly rod and we're gonna see if we can't catch one of these things and uh, run, it up, run them over to the main lake and uh, drop them off in there because they'll definitely die in here. And uh, if we can't, we can't, no big deal, but it should be, uh, should be fun. We're out of the wind and we're not doing anything else. So give it a shot. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's... He's a good sized fish for being in there. All right, let me get rigged up. All right, I'm all good to go. Yes, do you mind the vulgarity? Yeah, I did. Shoot, it's because the snow's crunching under my feet. Alcove, see it? See where that branch is hanging over? Yep. It's right there. So I'm gonna just get down here and I'm just you gonna get some of these little things. I'm just gonna shoot this. I'm just gonna do like a a bow cast. Just see if he comes out for it. Where is he? He's tucked. You see that willow yep. branch yep. hanging over the right there. He's up in there. Okay, let's see if I can just, oh, let's see if I can just get one, get a shot over there. Nope, it won't even get that far with this wind. <laughs> it worked. We're going to, he'll go right through the net. <laughs> you don't think so? Is it a rainbow or a cut? It's a cutthroat. All right. All right. Got a little cutthroat out of here. He will. Yeah. Shoot. All right. Give him a little breath. And here we go. Yeah, yeah, he won't survive the winter if I don't. All right. I'm gonna hustle. Oh, this is good. Oh, this way. Oh. Come on. Look at this. Whoa. Oh. 
But yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh. <sighs> All right. Good work. Look at that bad boy. And he's on his way. Look at you. All right, now it's Chris's turn. So he's slapping the water. 